in the coming days, I'm going to bring you forth. And then he says this phrase, ask of me, and I will give you these very nations as your inheritance. The very nations that are raging, I will take them and make them your inheritance. But you've got to ask me. You've got to ask me. I want to say something to you. God's answer in this hour is prayer meetings. God's answer in this hour is lives of prayer, communities of prayer, cultures of prayer. Where we bind together, we take what God said he's going to do, and we say, God, do it. Then we sing it. God, do it. And then we rap, God, do it. We find out whatever way we've got to, and we find ways of modes of communication, and we speak it and sing it back to him, because when God hears God coming from Corey, then God moves. It's about agreement. Why does God need me to ask him? He knows everything. He's going to do everything. You don't understand the story. He wants a partner. He wants a partner, a bride. He wants sons and daughters, not a bunch of minions running around in his kingdom saying, do stuff, you're going to do it, God. You just do it. I just want to try to stay out of hell. He goes, no. I don't want you living on the backside of heaven just saying, I'm just glad to have a glory mansion. Forget that. He said, you were made for more than a glory mansion on the backside of heaven. You were made for partnership with my son. You were made oh, to man. rule and reign with my son. Hallelujah. In your mouth and your voice. Oh, Amen. This is Jesus' story, but I want you to know who in here has given your life to Jesus. Hallelujah. I have. Jesus is my Lord. Well, I want you to know this is your story. This is your story. And I want you to know by the Holy Spirit, we're dwelt and we're one with Christ Jesus. Yes, and Lord. And the Father is awakening a prayer movement across yes. the earth. And this is the number one thing that he's declaring over your generation. Mm -hmm. And it's this. You're my sons. Hallelujah. And you're my daughters. Hallelujah. You're my son. You're my daughters. You are my sons. You are my daughters. And he is lavishing. A fatherless generation. Yes. He is lavishing a broken generation. Oh, man. He is lavishing a rejected generation. Yes. And he's breaking the power of trauma Amen. with the revelation of the perfect father. Amen. And his love. And it's washing and it's breaking and it's delivering a generation. Hallelujah. Joshua generation, the last generation. You Lord. are my sons. And that's why we've got to see communities of prayer raised up. And we've got to get people on pianos mm -hmm. and people on mics. And yep. for them to sing over us what God feels about us. Because I'll forget it tomorrow morning. Yeah. And God is creating communities for us to hear what God feels about us. You are my son. I want to say something to you right now. The devil has a name. Revelation 12 calls him the accuser of the brethren. Yep. And he is a full-time demonic intercessor. Mm -hmm. The devil is a demonic intercessor, and he stands, Revelation 12, day and night before Accusing. the throne of God. And the Bible says that he accuses the saints yep. day and night before the throne of God. Mm -hmm. There are four areas that the devil accuses you. He stands day and night. That's why God is raising up day and night prayer. Amen. Yes, Lord. To cut off, to break off, and to open up doors over cities Amen. to push back the accusations of the devil. Hallelujah. The devil accuses many on four fronts. He talks to God and he lies to God mm -hmm. about you. Mm -hmm. He's constantly lying to God about you. And then he turns around and he lies to you about God. Mm -hmm. And then he turns around and he lies to you about you. Yeah. And then he turns around and he lies to you about her and her about him mm. and creates a demonic web of accusation and of lies. Yep. And that when we agree with it, we actually establish those realities. Mm. And what's God's answer? He's raising up intercession. Amen. He's going to wash a generation and he is going to break the power of accusation. Hallelujah. Get it in your mouth. Get it in your mouth. Get it in your I mouth. I am his son. I am his daughter. I am his daughter. I am the righteousness of and the, I'm the righteousness Christ. of the body of Christ. Christ I am one I am with Christ Jesus. I am filled with the Holy Spirit. I am not an orphan. I'm not an orphan. I'm a son. I'm a, I'm a, daughter. a daughter. I'm the beloved. Not I'm a beloved, because of what, not I, do, because of what I, do, I do, but because of who I am in Christ. 
He is going to break an orphan mentality off of this generation. Oh, man. He's going to break a rebellious spirit off this generation. Oh, man. Yes, Lord, over me. He's going to break a religious Amen. spirit off this generation. In the name of Jesus, I come into the agreement with this man and bind it on earth as it is in heaven. Running off to Partyville and going crazy. And then we got an older son working hard in the fields. Mm. But God's looking to find the sons and daughters that are going to be found in the house. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. My, you are my son and this is what Jesus receives from the Father. At 30 years old, Started his at ministry. his baptism, the heavens open. Mm. And the Father says that everybody heard it. This is my beloved son in whom I'm well, well pleased. Well pleased, yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. Did that happen at your baptism? Heaven's parted. Everybody heard a voice come from up there. Yeah. That's my boy. I really like him. <laughs> he hasn't done anything yet. He's never preached a message, done anything. It's not what he does. It's who he is. And he'll do what he does because he knows who he is. Mm. Everybody say, I'm his son. I'm his daughter. I'm his daughter. This is who you are. Mm. Beloved, I want you to know right now, in the family business is prayer. Yes. Family business is prayer. Mm. I want you to know this. Come on, give me five more minutes. Stick with me here. As you begin to get that in your mouth, you are beginning to agree with heaven. Yes, Lord. You are beginning to break the power of lies. And Amen. God did not think, let there be light, did he? No. He spoke did God it. do this in Genesis 1? Power in the tongue, James. <laughs> did he do that? No. Now, if he would have done that, we could have gathered in rooms all around the world and done this. <laughs> Go to the Derwin. <coughs> because God's making it up, and if he wants to blink it, then it'll be. Mm. He has all power. Yes. He has all resource. Yes, Lord. But the Bible says in Genesis 1 that God said... Let there be light. I want to tell you. You Said. want to see light get loosed in your mind, in your heart, Amen. In your, around your atmosphere, around yes, your home? Lord. You want to see it get loosed around your school? Yes, Lord. I don't know. Do you? Then we got to have someone that receives truth and then someone who speaks it and sings oh, it back to God. Amen. In the form of you prophecy. Speak it. And sing it, back speak to it. God, it releases it's it prophecy. and it establishes it. Corinthians 13. Oh, Amen. This is what else happens, hear me, is that as the Father washes you in his affections, mm. what begins to happen, the just ceiling gets knocked off Amen. your life. Amen, the one that my husband's drummed into me. And you see your life yes. through God's vantage point. Yes, Lord. And you actually begin to see that you're more than just some depressed 15-year-old with a messed up family life trying to get through life, mm. but that God has a great inheritance for you. Amen. But that God has a great plan for your life. Yes, because Lord. he wants to begin to blow your mind with what he has for you. Amen. And then he wants you to begin to ask him for it. Amen. I want to tell you, your inheritance in this season is your family. Yes, Lord. Your inheritance in this season is your school. Yes. Your inheritance in this season is your city. Yes. It's your state. Yes. It's your nation. Yes. It's the globe. Yes. Your inheritance in Christ mm. is to begin to ask him for what he's already given you. Yes, Lord. And beloved, it's time that you begin to storm the gates of heaven Amen. and set a new atmosphere in your Amen. life. Amen. For my new family. Amen. And my old family. I don't care how jacked up the situation is. Your song is more powerful than his accusations. Mm. <laughs> Ask of me, I will give you nations. Ask of me, I will give you nations. Ask of me, I will give you nations. I have been praying the globe since January 2nd. Wow. I want you to begin to ask God for the nations of the earth. Lord, I pray Begin for the nations of the God, earth. Give your son Brazil. Give Gemma give son Colombia, Israel. Give, give Gemma son Mexico, USA. Give Gemma Mexico. Mexico. Give, your son America. Give, give me your worldwide, son Lord, to preach your word. Give your son the nation. Hallelujah. I want to partner with him. Yes, Lord. I want to join in what he's doing. Glory cloud meetings. Amen. This is what Jesus does when nations are surrounding. Mm. Speak it back to me, son. Yes. And I'll break in with my power. Hallelujah. Amen. He says, you shall rule them with a rod of iron and mm. dash them to pieces like a potter's vessel. Yes. That's how Jesus is going to come back. Revelation. He's coming back in tents. But I want you to know right now. Revelation what 12. What does that look like in these days? It for like eleven. Four says it this See? Way. What is the rod God will put in our mouths in these days? What have I it's in? called God 
Pour out your spirit yes. and anoint the church that when we say simple words, Wake up. it becomes a battering Spring up and that breaks wells. the hardest things into pieces. Yes, hammer. I want to tell you what the rod looks like. It's called iron sharpens iron. Of Jesus, the gospel, and his love. Mm. And when that thing gets in your mouth, it will begin to break the most hardest things you've ever seen. Amen. The scene closes. It's intense. Mm. David comes on the scene. <laughs> David just looked at the first three scenes. And I started out with why. I saw Father stand up and laugh. Jesus interceding. And now he does this. He looks at all the leaders. He looks at kings, nations, judges. And then he begins to look at leadership. And then he begins to look on a young generation. Yeah. In June of 2014 in Kansas City, Missouri. And he begins to scream at the top of his lungs. Hallelujah. Now, be wise, you kings. Mm. Be instructed, you judges of the earth. Yes, wisdom. Be wise, be instructed. Look at what Jesus just did. Mm. And do it the same way. Amen. Serve the Lord with fear. Amen. Rejoice with trembling. Amen. Kiss the Son. Yes, Lest Lord. he be angry. Yes, Lord. And you perish in the way. He says, mm. Blessed are all those who put their trust in him. Yes. Amen. Young people, hear me. If I'm on my deathbed, this is how I want you to hear me saying this. Mm. In all of your Ditto. day, build your life Jesus' way. Amen. Go low. You don't know much. Okay? You don't know much. Your understanding is smaller. Guys, I want you to know I've gone to the lengths of everything this world has to offer. Mm. And there's nothing compared to the, the power God. of Amen. Jesus by the Holy Spirit opens up this book. Yes. There's nothing more powerful and there's nothing wiser. And God is going to bring this generation out of foolishness Amen. and stupidity. Amen. And he's going to begin to release the spirit of wisdom. Amen. And we are going to be wise and we are going to be instructed. And yes. we are going to begin to rule Jesus' way. Amen. this. Learning to build on our knees. Yes. Learning how to speak and sing words back to God Amen. to see his kingdom established. Yes, Lord. Young people, listen to me. Be wise. Yes. Be instructed. Because if you don't kiss the son, you're going to find yourself in a different relationship with him. Mm. The Bible is very clear. Don't we be a Judas, so. though. Rock or the rock will fall on you. Mm. And there's going to be a bunch of kids that grew up in teenage conferences that spend eternity separated from God, knowing all the right Bible verses and phrases. Yeah, religiousness. But I want you to have a gift of wisdom. Hear the spirit of wisdom crying out tonight. Amen. And I want to see out of the wake of this conference that you begin to ask God, first let it begin here, God. Yes, Lord. I want to be a leader that prays. Yes, Lord. The disciples spent three and a half years with Jesus, and they never asked him, teach us to preach. They never asked him, teach us to heal. Teach us to prophesy. Teach us to... Da, 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 da. They go, they spent three and a half years with God. And they go, we want your prayer life. Mm. We want your prayer life. And my call as a leader, I'm saying, is my life provoking that response of the people looking at my life? Yes. Because if that's what God produces, more and more. that's what I want to produce. Amen. And it's time for a new breed of leaders that yes. go against the culture of this age Amen. that says consumerism. Mm. More, more, and more. Enough. Eyes filled, ears filled, mouth filled. Mm. Filled, filled, filled. And God is calling a generation to turn away and to begin to swim upstream yes. against the culture of this age. Amen. I want to say it's going to take great courage. Yeah. It's going to take brothers and sisters that will sing my song back to me mm. when I forget it. Mm. I need it. You need it. Mm. But I want you to know right now, young Davids, you start at 15. It will arrest God's heart, and he will simply do things for you that he won't do for other people. Mm. He will simply break in on your life like he doesn't normally break in on others. Oh, man. I want you to know the Father loves you, and I don't know what your story is, but he is calling you tonight as a leader that would begin it tonight saying, I'm going to be a man of prayer. I'm going to go on a journey of bore, of, of, from boredom and from duty into delight. Amen. I'm going to get a breakthrough in these pages. Yes, Lord. And I'm going to sit long enough until God's voice gets louder. Yes, Lord. Pleading with you tonight, be wise, be instructed, kiss the Son. 
Amen, my Jesus. Amen. Love you, Jesus. Hallelujah.